Good morning. Monday, the 29th of March, the Monday of Holy Week, and also, incidentally, the day dedicated to St. Gwynllu, the father, I think, of St. Caddoc, who is a, a rather more famous saint in this part of the world. And so what I have this morning is two uh, reflections on the anointing, which is one of the readings that we hear on Palm Sunday. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. My sister calls me complacent, lazy even, and she has a point. For too often I leave her doing the work while I swan around doing nothing. Yet, funnily enough, she admires me because I'm able to stop and stare, to appreciate the special things in life and to let it show how much they mean to me. She finds that hard, you see, for always in the back of her mind there are jobs to do, many distractions, so much else to think of. She's somewhat shy as well, <clears throat> not repressed or anything like that, but inhibited enough to want to hide her feelings and to keep them hidden from the public eye. So when Jesus came round that day, she was serving just as before, while I savoured the moment in demonstrative fashion, anointing his feet with oil. I can't help myself, for I saw Jesus there, so good and caring, so vulnerable, and I wanted to show him that even if the world was turning against him, I loved him as much as ever. In a way, I've loved no one else before. Judas was furious about it, and even the others raised an eyebrow. But not Martha this time. She'd learned from her rebuke before. Don't think I was better than her more sincere or, or devoted. I showed what Jesus meant to me through an extravagant gesture of love. She, through faithful service. It's not how you respond that matters, as if one way is superior to another. It's whether you respond at all. And this one <clears throat> is, is really lovely. I knew what I had to do, but I didn't want to do it. I owed him one. He'd brought my brother back from the grave, and it had cost him. It wasn't the first time he'd done it. There had been others, too. A daughter of a synagogue official, a son of a widow. He knew what he was doing. And he knew now that he was going to die very soon. His disciples refused to believe him. I didn't want to lose him, but I didn't want to hold him back. I knew that he must walk his own road. I wanted to help him. But how do you help someone you love get ready for death? It's a hard question without an easy answer. All I could think of was the perfume I had used to anoint my brother's body for burial. What I had done for Lazarus's dead body, I could do for Jesus' live one. And I did. And when I heard him telling people that I had helped him to prepare for his death and burial, I knew that he had understood. I love you, Jesus different ways of serving, all valuable, all recognised and acknowledged as acts of love by our Lord and Saviour. And so until tomorrow, I wish you every blessing as we begin this journey through Holy Week with our Lord. <laughs>